Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Filmington. It's the 13th of the month. The lineups are here. One-time purchases are coming out in just a couple days, Wednesday. First of all, golden ticket winner this month is going to get three things. So one lucky person is going to get a box of 2019 Topps Gold Label Hobby. That's Tatis, that's Vlad, a blaster of 2017 Bowman Platinum, which is actually pretty good for Bowman Platinum with regards to like years to choose from, I believe. And also a nice slab, Bowman Chrome autograph. Look at that beautiful autograph. Speckle SGC 10 Auto 10 of Garrett Mitchell, who debuted last year. I think he played a bit in September. Stolen base potential. He's got some speed. Maybe he adds power. It does hit the ball into the ground a bit, but it looks like he's going to be their everyday center fielder. He is a little bit banged up right now. I think it's his hamstring, but he should be ready to go, they're saying. So that's a speckle Bowman Chrome Auto. So I've been neglecting the YouTube channel a little bit. I apologize for that. It's just March is a super busy month for me with like the baseball season coming and fantasy baseball. I run my own league. I'm in a few different leagues. Um, so that the research element, we just had our first draft I hosted over the weekend. I thought I did okay. Kind of should have went an extra dollar in Manny Machado, though. My top-end talent for offense is, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's it's going to be enough this year. And uh, that seems to be the thing that needs to, that you kind of need to separate yourself because pitching is easy to come by, easier than years past. All right, let's get started with the lineups, guys. One-time purchases will be available Wednesday, the 15th, at around 3 p.m. Eastern time on the website. There's not going to be that many available, so... Where in Q2, Q, Q3, uh, and Q4 of last year, I think we saw some loss of uh, subscribers more than usual, and that allowed more people to kind of get in, especially for one-time purchases. Um, that's not really been the case over the last few months, so knock on wood, but business is strong. Haven't done really anything different from a marketing perspective, um, and I know a lot of people out there believe that the the full impact of the recession hasn't even hit yet, Main Street versus Wall Street, and I'm not necessarily in disagreement with that. It's just, from my standpoint, like this one metric, um, and a lot of people would say the same that have been to car shows lately. Looks like the hobby is fairly strong. Um, you could look at all other metrics, you know, um, transaction volume, and of course, like singles prices and wax prices and things like that, but subscription box demand right now is strong. And I assume it's not just for the RC Explosion Box. It would be for the other guys, too. Uh, but I think it's helped that in the midst of falling prices all throughout last year, I didn't knock down the quality of what was included. I aim for the same amount of pack value each month. And if my margins fluctuate, which they do as a result of that, and if sometimes they're very small or if there's not much margin at all, you know, that's kind of what I do. I just take it on because I know there's going to be some good years. There's going to be some, some bad years and some average years. So whatever. It's been working for me, I guess. So let's get started with that original lineup. Only five packs this month, guys. So you might already know it's coming just based off of uh, me saying just five packs. Um, there's the quality months. There's the quantity months. And this is definitely a quality month. This is a good lineup. The high-end baseball lineup also very strong. 2019 tops update that's what we're going to start with austin riley vlad tatis rookie debut even brian reynolds arias tommy edmund was like it was like up there in like fan graphs or baseball reference war like number one or number two in the nl through like may last year i swear uh next up you're going to get a jumbo pack that's right of 22 bowman draft so i asked a few people do you want it included most people had said yes some people, I'm sure, said they were indifferent or, or, or no, but um, most people had wanted this. So we're going to do a Bowman Draft Jumbo Hobby Pack. So that's huge. Um, jumbo boxes of that are selling for as much as like five fifty, I think, right now. So that's a solid product. And you've got some of the more uh, ready, like draft players, meaning coming from college. So Jackson Holiday, Termar Johnson, Elijah Green, these guys seem to be a bit more equipped to translate to major league success than some of the guys from like years past, from drafts in, in years past. But you've got Tucker Toman in there, Jace Jung, Brooks Lee, uh, Romero, Young, Zach Nito, Gavin Cross, Chase DeLauder, Kevin Parada, who I believe is like a top 40 or 50 prospect catcher for the Mets, Brooks Lee, Drew Gilbert, 
Brown, Crawford, Kumar Rocker. I mean, this it's pretty pretty loaded, uh, especially on the on the top end, uh, top end side um, with this uh, with this checklist. So that should be interesting, and I'm excited to see what you guys pull from that. Next up, we've got a pack of first and last time this will ever be featured tops chrome sonic light edition so i think the main chases in that are what like triple autograph cards uh there's sticker cards but you've also got a, an off chance at pulling a short print uh one of the guys from the extended base checklist so that's hunter green bobby witt cj abrams torkelson and of course j-rod um, the logo is the rookie card logo is on the opposite side of the card so you can tell it came from sonic i don't know if that hurts these or either way it might cannibalize the the first one from the regular tops chrome kind of silver packs and uh, allegedly from the, the light boxes as well but um yeah um in addition to that you've got o'neill cruz and other studs from the base checklist jeremy pena um and uh, wanda franco all right uh and the next pack most of you are going to get this this is 22 tops heritage this is not high number this is just regular heritage so that's that's like wander o'neill cruz um and uh because i didn't have enough boxes to last to, to go through for uh to last for everybody 24 of you will receive a pack from 2020 tops pro debut which is actually um a more expensive product than 22 tops heritage so in pro debut that's J-Rod, Franco, Witt, Anthony Volpe, Rushman, Gunnar Henderson. So it's a pretty, pretty stacked uh, checklist for 2020 Topps Pro Debut. Last pack is going to be 23 Top Series 1. Of course, we're going with Jumbos, the pull rates, and the upside of this configuration beats all of the other SKUs. And that includes regular hobby boxes. We're going to go with a Jumbo pack. These are like 46 cards, right? Um, I opened up a box myself and I, I did pretty good. I might've completed, uh, uh, the entire set, which I think is, is the norm for, for a, uh, a jumbo box. All right. Now let's go to football. So in football, we've got eight packs this month, starting with 2006 tops Chrome hobby. This box was in really good shape. Tom Brady's seventh year. Uh, refractors and stuff, Devin Hester, Reggie Bush, Jay Cutler, A.J. Hawk, Brandon Marshall, Vince Young, Vernon Davis. A lot of uh, notable players from that class. Nobody huge per se, but the Tom Brady would be the, the real chase, even the base card I think you'd want to go after. Next up, 2012 Topps Hobby product that's not easy to find, much like 2006 Topps Chrome. Russell Wilson. Different coach. Maybe he has a better year. I mean, he can't really be worse than, than this past year, right? Andrew Luck, Luke Keekley, and Nick Foles. Next up, we're going with 2016 Donruss Optic Megas. And from here, you've got Derek Henry, Tyreek Hill, Dak Prescott. Next up, we've got 2017 Donruss Optic Retail from Megas. There was a, from last month, a red and yellow. That's the parallel, right? Red and yellow. Yellow and red, prism, uh, parallel of Patrick Mahomes that somebody pulled from their box. So that's huge. Congratulations. And that was Gary P who pulled that. So congratulations, Gary. Next up, we've got four products from 2020. The highlight is probably 2020 Don Russ Hobby. So Jalen Hurts looked really good in the Super Bowl. Joe Burrow and um, Justin Herbert look to have better years this coming year, especially given how their seasons ended, at least. Uh, both of them did have solid years in the regular season. And you've got Tua, Justin Jefferson had an awesome year, CD Lamb, Jordan Love. And then you get that same checklist and these products. You got Contenders Retail from Blasters. You got Mosaic Retail. And then Prism Retail, all from Blasters. All right, let's do high-end baseball. Just four packs this month for high-end baseball. And I think if you're on the, the Facebook group or you follow the RCEB account on Twitter, all that stuff is in the description of this video. Then you probably already know kind of what's happening or kind of what's coming for at least two of these packs. First up, we've got Jumbo Pack of 2019 Bowman Draft Hobby, Adley Rushman, 
Gunnar Henderson, Corbin Carroll, who just got a pretty big contract, $100 million plus, seven years, I believe. Riley Green, Josh Young, George Kirby, Andrew Vaughn, Alec Manoa, C.J. Abrams, J.J. Lourdes, Michael Bush. goes on and on. Um, could have probably included a fourth line on this little uh, checklist sheet that I have. Next up, we've got everybody's favorite product right now, or at least of like a week or two ago, 22 Bowman Chrome Sapphire. Uh, and here you're going to get the ability to pull those image variations. And I didn't call those out separately um, because the guys that have the image variations and the image variation parallels also have, for the most part, like the base parallels and, and some of those guys have autographs. So J-Rod, Franco, Witt, Pena, O'Neill Cruz, Torkelson, Abrams, Quan, Hunter Green, Kirby, and then some of the prospects, um, Yasser Mercedes, Christian Vaquero, Oscar Colas, Zavala, Arias, Eli De La Cruz, got a short print in here, Lawler, and Marcelo Mayer. So checklist absolutely stacked. And you're getting guys that are prospects without like the first, but the image variations, even though they're not firsts, like Lawler and you know, Brian Acuna and Ellie De La Cruz, they're still of, of value, at least right now. So, and it does seem for like the guys like J-Rod, the rookies, um, that do have the image variations that the, like an orange parallel of J-Rod, that's an image variation, will sell more than like the regular parallel off the, uh, the base checklist, all else equal, like another one that's orange. I think a lot of it has to do with the photography. I think they did a great job, uh, better than a lot of what a lot of people expected. And, uh, you know, when I was going through my motions and picking some of these up from the Topps website, I was uh, projecting what these would sell for. And I thought Bowman Draft Sapphire would be a stronger product given history, given the two kind of checklists against each other. But uh, it hasn't really been the case. And it's it's not to say that Draft Sap Sapphire isn't good. It's just that this really knocked it out of the park. All right. Next up, the third pack is going to be from, just got these in the mail Saturday, 22 Bowman's best so originally on the lineup i was going to include 21 bowman's best and of course that's got like the whole controversy with like the beckett calling some of the um or labeling some of the uh the prospect cards as rookies or all of them as rookies uh but that not being really adopted or embraced um on a wide scale across the hobby which is clear just based off of how much those singles sell for but also the wax and, and what it kind of sells for. If you're going to compare 21 Bowman's Best uh, against previous years or, or now 22 Bowman's Best, the uh, the 21 kind of disappoints from that perspective. I mean, I think it does help a little bit, the fact that some people think that there are rookies in there. I think uh, 21 was a very bad year uh, with regards to like the rookie checklist. So I think that uh, it's helped a bit. And you still have, you still have autographs of some of the top prospects and stuff like, um, and in parallels of them. So I don't know. But anyways, 22 Bowman's Best is way better, in my opinion. And uh, I was able to get this for you. Whenever I am able to get a release that comes out the same month, I'll try to do it. I'll try to include it in the product if it's something that I think is going to be in demand that people are going to want. Not always will it be logistically possible. Like if Bowman next month, I forget what day it comes out on, but say if it comes out, like release date's like the 15th, there's no way I'll be able to get these up. Because I've got to like... Get the product, no one is going to come in, actually like retrieve it, receive the product. Then I've got to fill all of the boxes. I've got to make the checklists, right? And that pack will have a implication on all of the other packs that are in the box. So it's a lot easier if I can plan this out ahead of time, like the 5th, 6th, 7th, maybe the 8th, the latest. Know what's going to be in it, not like the 15th. And then I'm like, people are wondering where their RCEBs are and because I'm not shipping them out to like the 17th or 18th. Um, this case, I'll be able to ship most of them out. I'm hoping tomorrow, the 14th, which is going to be Tuesday. All right. Anyways, uh, I missed a pack. <laughs> um, or I didn't give you the last pack. It is Top Series 1 Jumbo. So I don't like to overload high end with Top's base, but because this isn't necessarily a prospect product, it's literally called the Rookie Card Explosion Box. I do, like, for my price point versus some of my competitors, you are going to get probably more Topps Chrome, more Topps Flagship. When you do get it, it will be the good stuff, and you're not, you're probably not going to get the same product um, in, like, back-to-back -back months, especially if it's on that flagship side. So I have gotten some feedback that 
um, when I did the uh, survey a little over a year ago that I need to include more Bowman and I have, and that goes to the original lineup as well. And uh, I like to also keep the lineup separated for those that have both. A lot of my customers have both of them. I don't want to include like, I don't like to replicate and duplicate too many products. I am this month, of course, with 23 series one jumbo, but Bowman's still coming, but um, that's the explanation for series one being in there. I know I also included like, it's a weird month, like two packs of tops update, but that was a product I knew was strong. This one is almost as strong, just as strong because it's coming from jumbo and not the regular hobby. All right, guys, that is it. I'll be watching these breaks. Make sure to post those on YouTube, on Instagram. Use the hashtag RCEB. I'm now including that in these lineup sheets for, to remind people to do that. Just helps me and other people find people's breaks a little bit easier. And uh, I plan to ship out most of these tomorrow. One-time purchases, yeah, that those will be available again on the 15th, which is going to be Wednesday right around 3 p.m. Eastern time on the website, which is in the description. There's not going to be that many available. Maybe two of each, something like that. There, there's not going to be, I don't know, a handful, just a couple for each of the three products, original, high-end, and football. Uh, that's what's going to be for this month. Maybe next month I might expand again. <sighs> All right, guys, that's it. Good luck with your breaks. Take care. Filmington out.